you are here for the intelligence exam, correct? Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm just adding a few details to the computer before we get started. Um, what's your name? All right, and date of birth. Okay, very good. So for our exam today, um, you may find generally how it works is you're just gonna answer a bunch of questions. Um, don't worry about having the right answer. Some of them, especially in the beginning, are more objective, but as we continue through the test, you'll probably find that some of the questions get a little bit more subjective, philosophical, strange. Just go with it and answer them to the best of your ability. Um, the test, and don't take too long to think about it. Uh, part of what we're testing for is to see your uh, first reaction. That first answer is really important to us um, as we get our assessment of your intelligence and of your general thought process, okay? This book here, we can use all of the tests. And we're beginning with our first exercise. So, I want you to tell me which of these things is different from the other. Is it something one, two, three, or four? So in the series of pictures, you should notice a pattern. Three of the things will be similar and one of the things will be different. Very good, you've got it. All right, next set of things, which is different? One, two, three, or four. Good, so now I'm gonna move a little faster, okay? One, two, three, or four. And one, two, three, or four. I told you this was nothing to worry about. Just keep going with it. Okay. One, two, three, or four. And one, two, three, or four. One, two, three, or four. One, two, three, or four. Okay, next set. Same thing. Which of these is different? One, two, three, or four. One, two, three, or four. One, two, three, or four. Now, fun fact, this book contains a small misprint. This is a Rubik's Cube. I know it looks a little odd, but it's a Rubik's Cube, so just go with it. Good. Last one. One, two, three, or four. Now, moving along, we have a new exercise. So I'm going to show you some lines, and you're going to tell me which line is longer. Okay? And I made sure you sit with this pen here. So, which is longer? Line A. Or line B. Which is longer? Is it line A or line B? Which is longer? Is it line A? And which is longer? Last one, bit of a tricky one. Is it line A 
or line up B. Okay. Like I said, yeah, just don't worry. Actually, some people even tend to fall asleep during our IQ tests, so if you find yourself drifting off, go ahead and just fall asleep, you know, it'll be fine. Okay. Now, this next one, I want you to answer some questions about this picture. How many purple squares do you see in this image? And how many blue squares do you see in this image? Good. And how many blue triangles do you see? Blue triangles. Okay. How many red triangles? Okay. How many white rectangles? How many white circles? How many white triangles? Okay. Good. Now, which of these is savory? Is it one or is it two? Savory. Okay. Which of these is to be kept cold? Is it one or is it two? Which of these is furry? Is it one or two? Okay. Um, which of these is dull? Is it one or two? Okay. Very good. Now, the next set of questions may be a bit more odd, but just get the best answers that you can, same as the rest of the test, okay? Which is more dangerous? A syringe or a bicycle? Which is more dangerous, a fire or a carbon monoxide leak? Okay. Which is more dangerous, a stranger or someone you know? Which is more dangerous, unhealthy drinks or unhealthy food? Drink, food. Which is more dangerous, a global pandemic or a massive global financial crisis? Now, moving on to some hypotheticals. Would you rather need require risky emergency surgery and only have access to the world's worst doctor? the world's worst doctor will be performing your risky emergency surgery or would you rather be facing life in prison with the world's worst attorney world's worst physician world's worst attorney good okay would you rather have money or fame Unlimited money or unlimited fame? Okay. Would you rather be in a kind of boring 
not abusive or terrible, but just depressed, like kind of just boring, not that fulfilling relationship for the rest of your life. This one here. Or be single for the rest of your life. So, boring relationship or single. Okay. An intruder has entered your home. Are you going after them with the hammer or the baseball bat? Hammer or the bat? Good. Would you rather be transported to a random point in the past and be forced to live the rest of your life at a random point in the past? Or be forced to live the rest of your life at a random point in the future. Past or future. Good. Coming up with some very interesting answers for this exam. Mm -hmm. Definitely enjoying administering your exam here. For the next part of our test, I'm going to show you a picture containing many, many images, okay? And I just want you to answer some questions for me about the images that you see, okay? All right. No, sorry, didn't mean to hit you there. Now, can you see the whole picture? And I'm gonna bring it close to you. You can get a good look at everything that's on here. What is the first image that you notice? What one pops out the most to you, more so than any other image? Which image on this page looks the most dangerous? Which image looks the most fun? What red image sticks out to you the most? Which image is showing 8 o'clock? Which image looks the most disgusting? Which image looks the most healthy? Which image looks the least healthy? Which image looks the most scary? Which image looks the most fun? If you could only take one of these items with you on a desert island, which would it be? If you had to study one of these things in school and earn a four-year degree on one of these things, which would it be? Very good. Okay. Very interesting results. You are a fascinating subject. I'm learning a lot about you based on your results. There's actually a lot of research behind this exam and we can tell a lot about you and your personality based on your answers. You would be amazed how much we can learn about someone based on their answers for this exam. So the next part is going to be very similar. I'm going to show you a page with some images and you're going to answer questions. Point to the blue rectangular prism. Point to the brown cow. Point to your favorite animal. Point to an image that has stripes. Point to a white image. Point to a green image. Point to your favorite blue image. Point to your least favorite image. Point to the yellow square. Point to the number two. Point to the heart. 
point to a gray picture, point to a pink picture. Very good. Like I said, if the test makes you sleepy, there's nothing wrong with getting sleepy during our tests. That is something that is surprisingly common. Okay. So, I have some more hypothetical questions for you next. Um, but I'm going to have to give you a little story to give a context. So basically, a psycho killer has kidnapped your best friend. This is your best friend of 10 years. This person has always been there for you. They literally donated a kidney to someone in your family. Very, very good friend. Now, the psycho killer has given you an address of where they can be found, but they've given you specific instructions that you are to go alone to help save your friend. Okay? Now, first question. Do you listen to the killer and go alone? Or do you bring a crew for backup and ignore their instructions. Interesting answer. Now, there are two routes that you can take to the killer's location. One route takes four days. One, two, three, four. But it is very easy going, very direct route, you're guaranteed to get there on time, and it's a very simple path. The second takes just one day, but it's fraught with additional danger that could potentially cause delays. So it's kind of a gamble. You could get there significantly sooner, or you could face additional dangers. Which path do you pick? Four days. Next. Okay. Now, next question. You arrive at the killer's house at their location. Do you knock on the front door or do you sneak in the back door or back? window that's been left open on a door back window. Okay? Good. Now, you forgot to bring a weapon and you get in an altercation with the killer in their kitchen. Do you attack them by throwing boiling water, boiling tea at them? Or do you attack them with a kitchen knife. So, boiling tea or kitchen knife. Very interesting answers. You're a fascinating subject. Mm -hmm. It's a privilege to work with you. Next. Sorry about that. My bad. Are you okay? Next, the killer offers to make a deal with you. You can either, you lose the altercation by the way, you lose. So then they offer you a deal because they won. You can either stay with them in your friend's place and your friend can go free. So you'll be protecting your friend. Or the killer will let you go. But keep your friend, never to let them escape. Which do you decide? Fascinating. Like I said, first thing that comes to mind, no wrong answers. Next. The killer has let their guard down. Do you seize this opportunity, this moment of weakness? And run, or do you hide from the killer? Run away from 
Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Nicely done. Now, the killer offers to make another deal with you because he loves deals and games. The killer offers that if you are willing to take a pill containing an unknown substance, they will let you and your friend go free. Do you take the pill containing the substance or do you refuse the offer and refuse to take the pill? Which will it be? Cooperate or refuse? Fascinating answers. Well, I'll be documenting all of these on my computer. And thank you so much for participating today.